Instead of starting your day with a jolt of caffeine, why not start your day with something a little bit more nourishing and rejuvenating instead? Flashy marketing has called energy drinks to be the first thing that people reach for when they're feeling tired or sluggish or need a hit of energy. But these canned solutions can make your energy problem even worse and can wreak havoc on your health. There's a lot of crap in energy drinks like artificial flavors and colorings, not to mention excessive levels of caffeine and tons and tons of sugar. Some of them even contain stimulants that you may not have even heard of before and that have barely been tested, but you didn't hear that from me. Yes, getting enough sleep is the perfect way to give your body fuel, but sometimes you need a little bit more oomph. Today I'm going to be sharing with you this all-natural energy drink that contains lots of vitamins and nutrients and antioxidants without all the yucky additives, sugar, and loads of caffeine. Each and every ingredient in this all-natural energy drink is going to have you skipping around like a toddler. Here we go. The great thing about juicing is that it goes into your bloodstream right away so you benefit immediately from those nutrients which gives you a boost of energy. So first I'm going to add some water to the blender. That's just gonna really make sure that everything blends really smoothly and easily. So in the food world, Kale might be the biggest celebrity of all with Romain playing at best, best supporting actor. Researchers did a study where they compared different types of produce for nutrients. Out of a score of 100, Romain scored 63, while Kale scored 49. Romaine is really rich in folate, which is excellent for men's health and fertility. And ladies, don't worry, I haven't forgotten about you because there's nutrients in romaine that can actually help to improve your mood. So next up is cucumber. Cucumber is extremely hydrating and it's actually about 95% water. This is important because one of the first signs of dehydration is fatigue. So really important to make sure that you're staying hydrated if you feel tired. Next up is celery. Like cucumber, celery is also about 95% water. It's rich in B vitamins as well as vitamin A and vitamin C, which helps to give your immune system that boost. Ladies, you'd also love that celery is very high in vitamin K. The reason why you'd love that is because vitamin K is really important for keeping your skin youthful, glowing, and looking fresh and radiant. Okay, so now you can see my blender is actually getting a little bit full. So I'm gonna go ahead and pulse it a few times just to break everything down. Next up is beets. Beets are actually gonna give us a little bit of that sweetness in our drink, but it's also really great for detoxifying your body, cleansing your liver as well. Sometimes because you have a lot of toxins in your body, that could also lead to you feeling fatigued as well. So beets, excellent, excellent detoxifying properties. They also increase blood flow throughout your body, which is also gonna give you that boost of energy. Next up is a green apple. Green apple is very high in vitamins and iron, which is gonna help to increase your energy. Next up is jalapeno peppers. Jalapeno peppers are high in a substance called capsicum, which is what gives jalapenos their fiery bite. They're also loaded with vitamin C as well, which is great to give your immune system a boost and great for boosting your energy. The capsicum found in jalapeno peppers is actually very beneficial for helping with weight loss as well. Okay, so my blender's getting a little bit full again, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pulse a few more times. Wow, it is really smelling great and very fresh in here. Just cutting up these vegetables alone is really giving me a boost of energy. All right, so next up we have ginger. So ginger is actually great for boosting your immune system, but it's also really great for helping to boost your mental focus as well. It increases circulation in the body and blood flow to the brain. So here's a quick trick with cutting up ginger and peeling it as well. So what I like to do is just take a spoon, just a small teaspoon like this, and then I just place it just on the ginger like so, and then you just gently just wanna scrape it like that. And then instantly, the skin just comes right off. Now, before I did this, I was actually trying to take off the skin with a knife, almost lost my finger in the process, but just found that just using the spoon is just a lot easier just to get that skin off of the ginger. Now you can add about a one inch piece of ginger, but I really like ginger, so the more the better. Ginger is gonna give it that nice spicy kick that's really gonna help to wake you up in the morning. Now next up is parsley. Now this ingredient is optional, but I highly recommend that you add it because when you're feeling tired, you usually see it in 
kind of feel it in your face as well. And parsley is really high in vitamin K. So again, I talked about that a little bit earlier, where vitamin K is excellent for making your skin look nice and youthful and glowing and fresh. So I'm adding about half a cup of parsley to this juice. Okay, so now I'm gonna blend it all together. All right, so I almost forgot. The last ingredient that I'm gonna add in is just a fresh squeeze of lemon. So lemon is perfect first thing in the morning to really help to detoxify your body and to really just wake you up and just get that energy going throughout your body. So guys, our juice is ready and I'm about to pour it into this pitcher that I have here. A highly concentrated dose of nutrients, which is what we're gonna get in this drink, is really gonna help to boost your energy and wake you up in the morning and to keep you energized throughout the day. All right, so let's get to the setup for a minute if you don't have a juicer. So what I recommend doing is just getting a pitcher. So I just have just, you know, average pitcher here. And then I just laid some cheesecloth inside of the pitcher. So cheesecloth you can actually get from, you probably get it from the dollar store. I bought mine from the supermarket. So you just wanna just plop it inside of the pitcher like that. So what's gonna happen is when you pour the juice through, the pulp is gonna hold back and just remain in the cheesecloth. And that way you're just gonna squeeze it right out. You can also use something for this that's called a nut milk bag as well. A lot of people use that when they're making their own homemade almond milk. Okay, so I'm just gonna pour this in like so. And it probably helps to do it in batches as well. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna do it in some batches. So you just wanna gather up the cheesecloth like that. And you'll see it kind of looks like you'll have all the pulp in there. And then just squeeze it. It's kind of like you're milking a cow a little bit. <laughs> so you just wanna just gently squeeze it out like that. And now you see like all that juice is just coming out and the pulp is just holding back. So I'm just gonna throw the remainder of this in like that. And again, I think doing it in batches like that is just a little bit better. So just add some and then just kind of squeeze it out and then add some more back in and squeeze it out. It just makes it a little bit easier. So you could just use like a mesh strainer like this and then same idea, you would just put the mesh strainer just over a bowl and then you would just take like a soup spoon or something like that and then you would just kind of press it through and then that way you would get all the juice coming right into the bowl. So if you don't have the cheesecloth, that's also a great option as well. All right guys, so there you have it, an all natural energy drink without a juicer. Now doesn't this sound much better than all of that canned crap? Now I hope you enjoyed this recipe and discovered some new foods to boost your energy naturally. Don't forget to subscribe by clicking on one of the buttons that you see here so that you can get lots of tips and tricks on how to boost your energy as well as managing your stress and helping to maintain or lose weight. I posted the recipe for this drink in the description below and I've also included some extra recipes that you guys might want to check out if you're trying to boost your energy or manage your stress. Cheers!